Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and we're going to compare the speed between iOS 8 and iOS 9. This is actually a great iPad to do this on, and one of the reasons I'm doing this is because a lot of you always say that the latest version slows down your older devices. This is actually an iPad 3, or the third generation iPad with a Retina display. So it's the first Retina display iPad, and it was known to be slow, and they actually replaced it six months later with an I iPad 4, which was actually much faster. So this one is famously slow, so if we see any differences, it would probably be most noticed on this particular device. It's the only iPad in my house I haven't updated, so I thought this would be a perfect test. So we're going to do a series of tests on iOS 8.4, and I'll show you the version in a moment. And then we're going to do a series of tests on iOS 9.3.1 after I've updated it and see how they compare. And we'll do them side by side so you won't have to wait between both videos. So let's go ahead and check out the version number first. Here in the bottom, you'll see that this is version 8.4. It's 12H143. And this is model MC706LL-A, meaning it's a third generation iPad. Now I went through and did a series of tests and then I went and updated this iPad to 9.3.1 as you'll see right here on the right side. And both of them are going to have the same exact test and I thought we'd start with a power on test just to see how they turn on. On the left we have iOS 8.4 and on the right we have iOS 9.3.1. Now, a lot of people have said 9.3 or 9 has really slowed things down, so I thought we'd see if that's really true. So we'll wait for them to boot up now. Some of these tests actually take a little bit of time, so I'll just let the test run in real time, and then you can watch it like that. If you want to jump ahead, I'll leave markers below so that you'll know where to go to the next test. Now that the boot up test has been completed, I thought we'd move on to Safari and see how long it takes to load a web page. So what I did here is load Zolotech, and once I typed it in, I actually synced the frames into where I actually tapped the link to open the page so that they're timed as accurately as possible. So you'll see it takes a little bit of time for the iPad on the left, or, 9, or actually 8.4 to load versus 9.3.1 on the right. 9.3.1 seems much faster for web pages. And I did try it a couple times when I was recording the video for 8.4, and it just seemed really slow with Safari. So it's something that looks like they've actually improved with 9.3.1 on this particular device. Now that we have that, I thought we'd type in notes and just see how quickly that goes with saying something like, hi, how are you today, and see how the typing is. From here, I wanted to see how quickly the App Store would load. So you open the App Store, and on older iPads, this seems to take a little bit longer than the newer iPads, actually a lot longer. And it's not the internet connection. The connection is actually 300 down by 20 up. So it's plenty fast, and we're using the same Wi-Fi network just at different times when I'm recording this video. So you'll see it took much less time on 9.3.1 than it did on 8.4. For whatever reason, on 8.4, it's just taking forever to load. And it didn't seem to load any of the icons until I actually moved it. And then everything just popped in. So I don't know if that's a bug or not. So the next thing I wanted to do was load YouTube. And then from YouTube, go to my actual channel and load one of the videos. And then again, I stopped the frame to the point where I was actually going to touch the video to see what time it takes in order to load that particular video. So you'll see now we're touching at the same time and loading the same video at the same time. And in this case, iOS 9.3.1 seemed to load a little bit quicker. Uh, not terribly faster, but a little bit quicker than before. So from here, I wanted to move into a game and just see how quickly that loads. So we have Monument Valley, and again, I'm tapping them at the exact same moment or same frame at least is what I've synced up. And what we're going to do is go to the first level until it's actually playable. So we'll wait for it to boot up here, and then we'll go into the level and see if we can move things around just to see what kind of time frame we've got. Now everything's loaded, so we'll go into the first level and see how long it takes to load. We'll wait for that level to actually load, 
and then we'll see how long it takes in order to actually move anything on the level. So you can see they're both pretty similar as far as that goes. Now the final test I wanted to do was Geekbench, and you'll see that both are the same device but with different versions, and we'll run the processor test and see how this goes. Now this is going to take a minute or so, but I'll leave it in real time so you can actually see it. But if you want to jump ahead to the end, I'll leave links again like I said before in the description below to help you with that. The test is completed on iOS 8.4 and now 9.3.1. You can see they both have a multi-core score of 495. When I rotate them to landscape, you'll see we can see the single core score. And on iOS 8.4, we actually have a slightly higher score of 261 versus 255. That's it for the comparison. Let us know what you think in the comments below. Did it meet or not meet your expectations? Let us know in the comments. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.